Are you ready? On your marks. Get set. Go. Come on, baby. Come on. Yes. Yes. That was good. But not good enough, baby. Let's do it again. Yeah, let's begin. Come on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now remember, stay focused. Your eyes are nothing else but the finish line. Let it lose. Talk to me, babe. Let's go. Are you ready? Yes, Dad. On three, two, one. Run! Run! Come on! Yes! Yes! How did it go? All right, food? No, 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 Look, now I have my eyes everywhere. Looking for that one opportunity, that one chance mm -hmm. to show her to the world. <laughs> I know they're, they're waiting. It's going to be an amazing experience. Yes, they will be amazed. Honey, you're doing absolutely well. No, we are doing a great job. Mm -hmm. Okay, so go freshen up and then come down to eat. Yeah, well, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> love you. I love you. Luna, food. Um, sorry, Mom. <clears throat> Luna. Thank you. 
Luna, get up. <sighs> Go to your room. Mommy, I'm mm. not sleeping. You're sleeping. Go to your room. Feel sleepy. Oh. <laughs> You're sleeping. Mom is a mess. Once you go to your room, turn that tablet off. Okay, thank you, Mom. You're welcome. I guess I'll see you later. Yeah. <laughs> you overstretched her today again. Luna is a strong girl. Hmm? So are you trying to say that you will overstretch her to fatigue before you put her in your games? Look, look. I think you underestimate her. Okay? This girl here surpasses all her limits every single time. You won't believe it. I mean, I, I just can't wait to enroll her into the game. I mean, I can't wait. I can't wait to show the world this, this rocket you have raised. <laughs> My turn now. Come here. We can never get to the finish line being slow, so it has to be fast always. All right, but this is your father's house and not a relay pitch. You should also note that everywhere at every point in time should be a reminder of the ultimate goal. Yes, that's how we should be. Hey, it's called being focused. Yeah, always keep your eyes on the prize. <laughs> if it snows, you lose. Right there. <laughs> All right, fine. I need somebody in the kitchen with me. Hey, right, Captain, I'll be on my way. Uh, <sighs> Alright, you sit. Sir. Um, Mona, get into the car. Okay. Nze, that little girl has done you no wrong. The least you can do is respond to her greetings. I am not here to exchange any pleasantries here, Charles. Where is my money? Look, look, I, I, I told you that I... That you will give it to me by the weekend? And the new week starts today. Charles, I didn't come here to listen to another story. And say, please, please, just, just give, give me some time. Please. I didn't come here to listen to another story, Charles. I am here to get my money. I've been patient enough with you. And that is not me. You are giving me my 500,000 Naira right here. And say, please, can I just take my daughter to school? We can sort this out. That eh? is my problem with you. You are so insensitive and selfish. I have children too. Do you know if they had anything to eat this morning? Not to talk of going to school. Or oh, because you cannot be trusted. Look, Charles. It all ends today. I mean today. I am coming back this evening. And when I come, I come with a towing van. And if you don't give me my money, I will tow this your car. Cannot be cruising the town while you are owing me. 
rubbish. Um, Dad, mm -hmm. that man seemed angry. Is there any problem? Well, Daddy owes him some money. Oh, money. I see. So, when are you going to pay him the money? Maybe I don't know. Let's go back to the car. You're running late. Let's go. Come on. Oh, yeah. Retrenchment. What exactly do you mean? It means laying off some stuff. I know what retrenchment means. Why are you asked? I asked because I don't understand what you're talking about. I asked because of what it means to me. Because of what it means to the others. We have not been paid for the past four months. And we have been begged by the same company to be patient. And now you look at me in the face and tell me that we are being laid off? You see, Mr. Chas, that is exactly the problem. The company is going through tough times at the moment. We have lost some contracts, we have lost some jobs, and we have not been able to pay our staff. So the company thinks it is the best thing to do at the moment by laying off some staff. Maybe to see if they can raise money and hopefully bounce back. So I'm going to be jobless. For now. Maybe for a while. And I won't be paid for the past four months. Not immediately. <laughs> um, you see, sir, I, I, I owe people. Hmm? And I, I, I have been maintaining my car, foiling it, paying bills, taking care of expenses for the, for, for the past four months without asking or disturbing the company for the money they owe me. And now, <laughs> I come into the office. You, you tell me that I have lost my job. Technically not. Do not tell me about technicality. Do not tell me about technicality. I have bills to pay. I have a family. I have school fees to pay. I have expenses to take care of. What exactly are you saying technically? What nonsense! I hate this company. I've always hated it here. What is the meaning of this? Oh. Wait a minute. You, you, you were affected too? That stupid man laid me off after all the sacrifices I've made for this company. Manager! There you are. I knew I would find you here. What are you going to do now? Well, I don't know. I mean, that's why I'm here. I'm here. I'm confused. I, I don't know what to do. Okay. So you're looking for the solution inside this drink? Yeah. 
you know, you could have just uh, ordered your own drink, right? Taste better sharing yours. You know, I've always wanted to be a part of everything. Isabella, we have a very serious case at hand right now. Oh, my bad. Point of correction. You have a serious issue at hand, not me. I don't care about them. You know that working there was just a way to keep myself busy and of course, be closer to you. Come on. That paltry sum they paid has never been anything to me. Good for you. But unfortunately, that paltry sum is the same thing that some of us depend on to feed our families, pay bills, school fees, and all these expenses. That's what we run it with. Look, not everyone is as fortunate as you, Isabella. I mean, not every one of us are from a rich home just like you. Well, you could be. By extension. Charles, imagine if you had married me when all I wanted was you back then. You wouldn't be here crying and thinking over a 400k salary. Come on, because you would be part of my family. Oh, you don't want to talk about it. Oh. Why are you always avoiding me? What is my offense, Charles? Why do you detest me so much? Yeah, hello? Yes, yes, what, what, what happened? Oh my God, oh my God, oh yep. my God, oh my God. Charles! <sighs> oh, my baby. Oh, my love, bye. I am sorry. I, I am sorry I couldn't pick you up from school. This is something happened at work today and I got completely caught up. I'm sorry I couldn't oh, pick you up from school. It's fine, Dad. It's okay. It's fine. It's, it's not like I didn't have fun. It was fun writing the book. No, 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 no. Don't say that. Don't say that. It, it wasn't. I mean, you, you, you know. can... Go to your room and make sure you turn off your tablet. Okay. Yes, yes. To your room. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, honey, you said something happened. What happened? I got laid off. <laughs> laid off? What does he mean? I wasn't the only one. What? What do you mean? What? I just told you what happened. Sorry, please. Say something again. Babe, I, I just told you Sorry, that I got... Sorry, is this alcohol? You went drinking. You lost your job and you went drinking. The only thing that could come to your head is to drink. Really? Charles. <sighs> Is there food in this house? Excuse you? You went drinking. No, I'm talking about you drinking. You, you, you lost your job and you went drinking. Instead of you to come back to the house so that we can talk. Charles! My God. No. <laughs> I need to understand something here. Kamsi, you're not mad. He lost his job. He's supposed to come... Charles! So what do we do now? Well, I don't know. But I will have them pay me my outstanding salary. I definitely have to find a way to do that. And after that? What do you mean after that? I mean, I have to take this one step at a time. <laughs> you have no job. We are in debt. And you want to take it one step at a time. Charlie. Okay. What am I supposed to do? I mean, what would you have me do? So now you need my advice. 
But obviously, since you have it all figured out, and I haven't. So do you mind? Do you care to share? Oh, yes, I care to share. Why don't we start by you going back to the bar and getting yourself more drunk? Really? Can't say really. Yes, really, really, really. Because huh, actually that's the first thing that came to your mind when you, it was like, okay, let's put it this way. He said, Charles, you don't have a job anymore. And Charles said, oh, let's head straight to the bar and celebrate. Celebrate what? What, are, what do you know you're celebrating? Getting yourself drunk. You will still be there if I hadn't called you on phone. You will still be there marrying. You are unbelievable. I can't deal with you right Excuse now. Excuse you. I am unbelievable because I'm challenging you to be responsible. You have no job. We have things to do. We're in debt. You have a daughter. Eh? You're entering the bathroom to go and do what in the bathroom. I'm asking you. You need to do what a man should do. I don't understand. No, what is this? Talk to me. What is this? What are you doing down sitting here? Eh? You go to drop your daughter at school and you come back home sitting down? Tell me, no. Make it make sense to me, please. Do you know that when she comes back from school, she has got nothing to eat? Do you know? And that car, it is only God that is saving us that Miss Tanze hasn't told it yet. What are you doing? Why are you sitting down, please? Nobody is doing the car. How do you mean? What do you mean by that? Have you paid him? He's been sorted. Sorted? How has he been sorted? Oh, please, 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 please. Don't tell me that you've touched our savings. Savings? For God's sake, how do you think we have been feeding for the past four mm, years? Mm, mm. Come see, how, how, how do you think we have been paying bills, all the expenses in this house? How have we been taking care of it? For the past four months, I have not been paid a dime. Are you being serious right now? Are you being serious? So we are even in a deeper mess. What is wrong? Okay, tell me. What would you have me do? Huh? Go into the street and start begging? You get another job, man. That is what you have to do. When one loses his job, he gets another job. That's what normal people do. Sensible people do that. I have told you, I didn't lose my... Oh, did you lose your senses as well? Did you? I need you to listen to me. Open your ears and listen to me. Retrenchment is sacking. They sacked you. You have lost your job. And without a job, we will not be alive. We will not survive. So please and please get a job. Jesus Christ! Sorry, baby. I'm... Did you see any problem? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh my god. Look, I'm sorry.
to but I mean to ask if there's anything going on with that. Did he say anything to you? No, no, just that he's been acting bothered. Like he has been thinking. He's not been himself for some days. So I I'm just asking. <clears throat> Um, the thing is, Daddy has some issues at work. Issues? Mm, yes. Mm. So all we need to do now is, you know, encourage him, be his strength, you know, make him feel loved. That's basically it. Okay. I see. So how can we make him, like, how can we encourage him? Uh, by praying for him, you know, we pray to God, for God to give him wisdom, understanding, mm -hmm. so that he knows how to handle the cases, the issues he has got at work. Okay. Definitely pray for him. Yes. Is that why you're not eating? I've lost my appetite. How can you lose your appetite? Mm -hmm. Should I feed you? No. Are you sure? Charles, so you had to let her find out. Really? Luna has got her exams to focus on. But no, you just had to drag her into your mess. Baby, listen. I'm not proud and I'm not, I'm not happy in the manner and in the way that she found out. But then again, she's a member of this family and she deserves to know when things are not working well. Oh, yeah? She's a member of this family, so she deserves to know when things are... Are, are you being serious right now? Really? What do you want her to do? What do you want her to do for you? Contribute to solving your problems for you? Is that it? For God's sake, woman, nobody's asking her to contribute anything. Mm-hmm. You know, when I had a long day today, can we just let this rest, please? Okay. Rest for how long? Please let this rest. Rest for how long? How long have you been resting for? How many days? Are you not tired? When are you going to fix this? Are you not tired, my guy? Eh? Mr. Resta, where are you going to? I'm talking to you. Really? Hey. <laughs> Well, Lord Almighty, I thank you for everything you've done for us, for the life, for the provision, and for the protection. Thank you for your name, he is highly exalted. Father, forgive us our sins in any way we have sinned against you, in our words, in our thoughts, or in our actions. Forgive us in Jesus' name. Father, I want to pray, O oh Lord. I have come before you today to ask that you, that you please help my dad, help this family. Help this family go come through these trials and temptations. God, you said it's in the book of Matthew 7, 7, that we should ask and you shall give it to us. We should seek and we shall find. We should knock and you shall open the door. Oh Lord, I'm coming now. I am knocking on behalf of my dad and this whole family. I don't know the situations. I don't know the issue that is happening at work or anywhere. But Father Lord, please, please look at us. Look upon us, oh Lord, and help my daddy solve all this pr problem. Help this family across this hurdle and give him the faith. Give him the grace. Give him everything that he needs to come to, to come through in Jesus' name. Amen. Father Lord Almighty, help my daddy. Any idea that he needs, any solution. Solution. Give him the ultimate answer to this problem in Jesus' name. Amen. You will guide his path so that he will not in the in the in the cost of trying to do the right thing go astray. You will bring him together in Jesus' name. Amen. Father Lord Almighty, help this family. Help my daddy. He shall get his job in Jesus' name. Amen. Everything that he needs, he will get in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for you've answered my prayer. Thank you for thank you so much. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. Amen. It's been over a week now. What is going on? Mr. Chas, we are still trying to convince investors to do business with us. We have not been able to make headway. Well, 
let me ask you. Does it occur to you that I have a family? Of course, I have a family as well. We all are different. You do not sound like we are in this together. Don't give me that. Look, you are still the one sitting here with a job, not me. Would you like to come and work without getting paid? That was why I had to remove some of you guys. This has been on for a very long time. At this point, I want to talk and I want you to listen to me. I'm all ears. I need money. Lots of money. I have worked for this company and they owe me. I'm asking you to pay me what you owe me. I don't care if I eventually lose this job. All I'm asking is that you pay me what you owe me. Pay me my four month salary and then I will gladly walk away. I don't even want to come back here. I don't even want to see your face. Just pay me what you owe me. That is all I'm asking. Is that too hard? Is that too much to ask? Madam the madam, uh, how are you? I'm fine, Miss Danze. How is your husband? My husband, he's doing fine. He's okay. Your husband is behaving like a kid. Why is he behaving like that? I've been trying to call him, let us talk ever since he came. But he has been refusing to pick my calls. I know I was very harsh to him when I was looking for my money. Things were so hard that time. Then, I have been looking for a way for us to come back together as friends. <laughs> Miss Tanze, you know my husband, your friend. If he had the money, he would have paid you a long time ago. We had little issues, you know, here and there. And all he needed from you was just a little time. Just a little time. He just needed you to be patient with him. I, I, you know, he paid the money. But money did not really come from his account. Eh? I, at least, I made him to understand that he has people that can come to his aid whenever he's in that need. He... Okay, uh, Miss Tanze. Well, he, uh, the thing is, you are both men. You will definitely sort out your issues. Just tell him that I asked for him. And I want us to move on again as friends. We are. No problem, sir. Thank you. Mm, all right. Bye bye. My life has gone off the rails. Charles, did you go borrowing money? to pay me stanza. What are, you, what are you talking about? Answer my question, please. Did you go borrowing money to pay me stanza? Honey, I told you it has been sorted. Why can't we just let this slide? Sorted? How? How has it been sorted? Please tell me. Where did you get the 500,000 Naira you paid me stanza? Tell me, please. Hold on, just wait. Don't go. Charles, just please stop. Why the rush? Where, where, where are you running to? Listen, I have to, I, I, I have to go, go home. I, I just forgot to, to pick my daughter up from school. Oh, so, sorry about that. Uh, she's still in school now? No, no, no. She, she joined the school bus. So, where are you rushing to? 
home, of course. I need to go and apologize to her. Look, it has never happened before. She never uses the school bus. Charles, she's home already. And you can always apologize to her, right? Why the rush? Let me guess. You're just looking for an excuse to get away from me, right? Mm -hmm. Listen, listen to me, Isabel. Look, I have too much on my plate right now. I'm going through a lot. I have a lot to deal with. I need help. I need help. I have to go out and look for money. I need lots of money as we speak right now. Listen, I need to raise some money. And if I don't do that now, you see that car outside, it'll be taken away from me. So I don't have the time for all of this. You owe some people? A friend, 500,000 there. And, and he has strengthened to take away my car if, if, if I don't raise the money and give it back to him. Uh, I know he's, uh, he, he's not somebody who blabs. If he says a thing, he, he, he would do it. Besides, I can't even blame him. Shut up. He, he, he has spent so Shut much- Shut up, Charles. Put his number. His account details. Go ahead, put it. Charles put the account number. At least you have less to worry about. Okay, what bank? I... Di, di, are you being serious? That woman again? Really? Honey, look, she knows that I am married and she respects that. She knows what? He knows that I am married and she respects that. Are you be are you are you a child? <sighs> okay. Charles, will you be this calm if I go hanging out with my ex and collecting money gifts? Look, I, I wasn't hanging out with her. I was just Oh please save it. Save that rubbish you want to spill out now. Nonsense. I know it's nonsense you're going to tell me now. So this is it, huh? This is what you've become. Is this what marriage does to people? Oh, listen to me, Isabella. 
There is nothing wrong with my marriage. Oh, really? Look at yourself. Charles, what is going on with you? You've become a shadow of yourself. Hmm? This wasn't the man I fell in love with years back. And you're, you're suicidal. Hey, I am not. And I need you to stop saying all this nonsense. I'm fine. So you don't know this is the final stage? Packing by the roadside just to cool off. Next, you're looking for a river to jump into and end it all. God forbid, Dad. Now oh, listen, I need you to stop this, okay? I, I told you I'm, I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm, I'm fine. What are you so afraid of? What are you running away from? Hmm? Just what is that woman doing to you? What? Now listen to me, Isabella. I will appreciate it if you keep my marriage out of this because it has nothing to do with it. You know very well that I, I, I lost my job. Well, I lost my job too. But unfortunately, you don't have as much responsibilities as I do. Exactly what I'm saying. Your marriage is the problem. And I said no. Just let me help you. Please. I need a job. And you helping me will always come with a prize. A prize that I'm not willing and ready to pay. What exactly can I ask of you? Hmm? Just to spend quality time with me? In that quality time, I cannot give you. Why? Because I am married. You're married? Yes, I am married. Even if I have to pay you, just to have fun. Really? Oh, so you, you, you want to pay me now to sleep with me, is that it? Mm -hmm. Let me ask you a question, Isabel. How would you feel if a man says that exact word to you? How exactly would I feel? When a man I've been sleeping with, not like it's the first time. And yes, who cares about me, wants to sleep with me and help me. I'll be grateful, especially when that ex loves and misses me a lot. Charles. Well, news flash, Isabel. Unfortunately, I cannot do what you're asking me to. I cannot sleep with you because I am married. I'll leave you to think about it. Okay? From the moment you came to this world I knew I loved you even more From the day I held you in my arms You changed everything in my life I'm gonna take a bullet for you I'm gonna take the heat for you Baby, get back to protect you are you sleeping here? You've been on your phone the whole evening. What are you actually doing? Chatting with your ex as usual. For God's sake, what do you mean by chatting with my ex as usual? I mean, is that what I have been doing? Well, I am trying to register my car for uh, a cab service. That's what I'm doing. Like transportation? Yes. Ha! And you did not deem it fit. You didn't see it necessary to tell me. To what end exactly? Huh? No, tell me, to what end? So as to incur your, 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 your insult and criticism? Is that it? Excuse you? Excuse you? Is that what I've been doing? Eh, even if I've been doing that, don't you think it is wise? Why would you not involve me in your plans? 
It is wise to always tell your wife your plans so that both of you can work together. All right, I'm sorry. Okay, I, I'm trying to register the car for a calling uh, cab service. That's what I'm doing. Hey, is that, has it gotten to this? Really? So you now, you've abandoned everything about getting a job. You have. Honey, I have not abandoned getting a job. I am trying. I am looking. Why I search? I have to do something. I mean, this is the, the, the only thing I can do right now. Why I, I, I wait for a, a, a call? I mean, we, we don't have nothing, absolutely nothing left in our savings. What would you have me do? Huh? Hi. the problem why are you not sleeping how do you want me to sleep no tell me what in what position do you want me to sleep how do you want me to sleep because i don't know how to sleep i cannot wrap my head around sleeping knowing that i'm a camel's wife what did you just say you know sincerely speaking i never imagined this at all i never in my wildest imagination in a lifetime, no, not me. Not me, Kamsi, being a cabman's wife. The worst thing is, I cannot even call my mom. I can't call my family because they will laugh. Oh, my mom will laugh at me. She will yell. She will scream at me because she warned me. They warned me, but I did not listen. Why? Because I was in love, stupidly, blindly, dumb, death in love. <sighs> oh, God. What is wrong with me? I don't understand this. <laughs> okay. I had a good job. A well-paying job. A beautiful job that even in this situation, my job could have helped. But no. Everything in your head was all about Luna. Luna, 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 Luna. Luna. Okay, I begged you. Let's get help. But no, you said no. Just you said no. You don't want anybody to come and take care of an outsider to come and take care of your daughter. You don't want it. This is it. Now we're stuck in lack. We're stuck in poverty. Can I say we are not poor? No, you a cab driver. How rich does that sound? Me a cabman's wife. Tell me how rich does that sound? How rich does it sound? Tell me. Let me tell you something. I never brought this upon myself. And just like you, I never saw this coming. But you know what? I'm not giving up on faith. I'm not going to blame anybody for anything. No, I won't. I will pick myself up and I will be fine again. All this. Chapas. Something is wrong with you. All of a sudden you've turned pastor. All this shall pass. Just take it. All this will pass. You are, you are the cab man and you want to make me a cab man's wife. Take it out. <laughs> Rubbish! How 
Now look, if you must watch this all the time, do it without your headphones. Okay, it's very important you know what's going on around you. Oh, okay, sir. Good. Do you read your books at all? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I do. In fact, I've done my homework, so... Luna, can I sleep in your room tonight? Of course, yes. Why not? You're always welcome to sleep in. So, hop in. <laughs> um, did mom shout at you again? Wait, why does she like doing that? Why does she like attacking you? Well, she does not attack me. I mean, your mother is only trying to, uh, you know, make sure everything is fine. I mean, it's her duty as a mother to take care of us. That's what she's doing. Oh, she has not been nice to you. Don't say that. Dad, don't try to defend her. I see and hear everything going on in this house. And from what I've heard, she doesn't treat you nicely. And I don't like the way she talks to you. Hey, hey, hey. That's your mom now. Okay, look, your, your mother is a very kind woman. Uh, I mean, things are not quite smooth with us at the moment. But we'll get over it. I mean, in love and unison, we will get through this. I don't want you speaking of your mother like that. Um, Dad? Yeah. Do you mind if I ask you a question? Why is that? Yeah, I've been watching this video since yesterday. You know, it's in Netflix. Uh, so she's been running, right? Mm -hmm. I don't really understand this whole thing. You know, I understand the normal ones, but this one is quite. Okay, now look at this. Mm -hmm. Now, from this very spot to this last spot, this is where she's gonna have a normal speed. Once she gets to this spot, she's gonna have to increase. She sprints at this oh, end. Wait. Yes, from here down to the finish line has to be 100 meters, and that's where you increase your speed. Increase your momentum with about 50 to 100, depending on how far you can go. So, whenever you see this, just understand she's getting warmed up from this spot down here, okay? And from this, right from this mark, you're on a freeway. It's like you have to run like your life depends on it. Okay. Um, Mom? Okay, so there's no bread, and um, this doesn't look like there's any milk in it. There's no bread. It doesn't look like there is milk in it. There's sugar. Manage. Sugar. Manage. I love. <laughs> Come on, princess. Hurry up. I need to drop you off. Yes, daddy. How about you take a spoon from here? Come on. Don't be enough for the both of us. You go ahead and eat. Say I am running. I need to drop Please. you off. Please. Okay, just one spoon. Okay. <sighs> That's for the little girl. Oh, well, first of all, I am not a little girl. And then moving on, I was the one that invited him to come and join me. He did not just come and say, Uh, what are you, what are you, what are you doing? Uh, I'm looking for who you're talking to. The person you're actually talking to right now. Where is she? I'm talking. Excuse me, you're talking to who? Me? Princess, you apologize to your mom now. Sorry. Honey, that wasn't a sincere one. Okay. Princess, you would apologize to your mom now. Okay. Sorry, mom. Okay, princess. Please hurry up, please go. I'm running late. Can't eat this. Let's just go. What do you mean? You don't, you don't want to eat. Look, 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 look at this. There's no bread. There's no milk in it. It's not worth it. Let's just go. To 
face for you. I'm dead. I think you have to stop calling me that now. I'm no longer a baby. <laughs> okay, okay. Big girl. Mm hmm. <laughs> Honey, you see, I, I need you to help me for a little bit. Yes, I need your help. Um, you know, things are not the way it used to be. And as such, I won't be able to come pick you up from school or go drop you at school like I used to. Have to adjust. Okay. I understand, Dad. I totally understand. Thank you. But I promise you, I will fix this in no time. That's a promise. Oh, you see, I just got an order already. <laughs> Dad, why are you doing everything alone? Why is mom not supporting you? Honey, look, your mom supports me the best way she can. Why is she not working? Well, I, I stopped her. Okay, I, I asked her to stay back. I mean, stay at home. So she can, she can look after you. So she can be close to you. I stopped her from working. Hey Dad, I, I understand that. And I really appreciate it too. But now I'm grown. She has to get a job and start making money. I can take care of myself now. Excuse me. Yes, hello. Okay. Oga, is there anything wrong with your car? Uh, no, ma'am. Uh, is there a problem? Definitely. Because some people actually have an appointment. So why are you driving like a baby? Step on it. I have an appointment to catch up with. Please. Uh, I, I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry. Sorry to yourself. Firstly, it took you 100 hours to come and pick me. Now you are driving as if you are carrying a Lena batch behind you. Why? Well, ma'am, I had to go and drop my daughter off at school. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for the thing. Well, my own son is in the hospital, dying. So step up! Speed him up! I'm sorry for your son. Excuse me. Uh. Y yes, sir. I'm outside. Yes, yes, number three. Outside your house, sir. Okay, yes. Yes, I'm outside. I'm outside. Uh Wait, you... You are my right? Y yes, sir. How? With this... Uh Come, bro, are you a kidnapper? <laughs> okay, jo, so before you start having any funny thoughts, I don't even have kidnap value, so let's go. go. Um, can I start the trip, sir? Yeah, start it. I don't fear you. Try and be... You see, you don't have to be scared of anything. I, I'm just an honest man trying to make an honest living. Mm -hmm. You sit better. 
Ya bagus. This kind of car. What? Alpha <coughs> John, I don't. I won't send you my location. No, I didn't write. Just monitor my location. I don't understand this kind of ride. Well. Do you have a family? Um, yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, I am still up. So now you have the perfect excuse to frolic around town with your ex. Jesus. What, what are you saying? Is this the work on my get after a, a, a long day of work? Yes. Yes, this is the welcome you get. Are you not a driver? No, tell me, are you not a driver? Tell me, one driver you know that comes back this late with all the insecurities around town. Tell me. Yeah. My last trip ended a few minutes ago. Thank you. Thank you. Even at that, all I'm saying is that you now have a family and you're supposed to adjust your time and come back home early. That's all I'm saying. You have a child and you have me too. You have your duties and you also have to do. Hello, Daddy. Hey, baby. Daddy. <laughs> baby, how are you? Very fine, sir. Fruits? Fruits. Thank you so much, Dad. You're welcome. So, how was school today? School was fine. School was okay. And the boss, I hope there wasn't too much noise. Dad, you know me. Once I put on my headphone, I'm not hearing anything again. So, I didn't hear a word. Good girl. Give me a high five. High five, baby. <laughs> Where's your mother? I don't know, somewhere inside, maybe the kitchen, the room, anywhere. Oh, okay, don't, don't worry. Let me get her. Yeah, and I'll tell her about the fruits. Fruits. Gideon, why, why is the door locked now? Good morning, sir. Good morning. Um, Gideon, good morning. Why is the door locked now? Oh, the door. Yeah. The door's supposed to lock now without the weight uses. Ah. Uh, Gideon, what, just because of one week debt, you, you, you locked on. Why now? Debt, not debt. One week or oh, two days, oh, not debt. I'll ah, be you don't understand my name until they maintain this place. Huh? Eh? Gideon, calm down now. And, and see, okay, 
I'll, I'll pay. I will pay. Just just let me train small. I mean, today she, she needs to train. Oh, please. that Charlie. No need to be beat around the bush. The place don't they lock, don't they lock. Clear your depth, then I'll open them for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's okay. Let's just go. It's okay. Ah, she not waiting there. Hmm? Pay up so that I feel open for you. Don't worry. It's gone. The lawyer came. He was here today. For the house rent, I guess. You know already. Well, it's okay. I will speak with him or the landlord tomorrow. He was raging. He was very, very angry. This man has been patient with us. Two months. Two whole months. <laughs> I'm going to call mom. I have to call her. No, you, you, you don't have to do that. I mean, you don't need to call your mother, okay? I don't understand. Why? Then what do we do? I just told you I, I will do something about it. I'll fix this. Don't worry, I'll sort it out. How will you fix it, please? Do you know that they will throw us out? They are going to throw us out any minute. What are you even saying? Hmm. Yeah. I'd better think about something or think of something. And you know, um, Luna said something to me a few days back. And I have been thinking. You see, why I'm trying to get a new job? Why don't we also get you a job as well? Yes. <laughs> Are you being serious right now? Really? Get me a new job. How? Where? When? I mean, it doesn't matter. You can you can start up from wherever you left off. It's just to get a job and then, you know, start working. That's all. It's, it's not a big deal. I mean, now that she's fully grown. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she's fully grown. So because... You are incapable of seeing that we're okay in this family. She's all grown up. You're realizing she's all grown up. Charles, I was just a babysitter to you. Really? <laughs> hey. Uh. You know something? You must be a joke. Me, walk. No, oh, scratch your head. Scratch it very well. You want to get me a job? Luna said. You should get me a job. Listen, you had better start being a man. Start taking responsibility. Like, you know your responsibilities. You should do it. You need to get me a job. I had a very good job. A well-paying job. But no, leave it. Okay, get a house help. No. Um, Daddy, please, I want to go 
out with you. So when you're ready, I'm here. Just call me. Baby, look, look, I'm sorry you have to join the boss, okay? I already have a client waiting for me. Please, huh? We are still checking, Mr. Charles. Checking? What, 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 are you, what, what are you checking? Look, look, she has to go back to school. I mean, I thought by now she would be good to go. Mr. Charles, from the way your daughter is reacting, it might be severe. Please, we are still looking at it properly so that we can ascertain the best way to go about this. <sighs> Listen, I, I don't think I, I don't think you, you understand what I'm saying. I don't think you are listening to me. She needs to go back to school. What are you checking? What, what's all this uh, for? I, I mean, what's going on? Mr. Charles, I heard you the first time. But first, she has to be all right in order to go back to school. Please, I will appreciate it if you can exercise a little more patience. Let me do what I know how to do best. Baby. Listen, listen, you you you'll be fine. Okay? You'll be fine, I promise you. It's just it's just a, a minor injury. Okay? The, the doctor is coming to check you again. And once once she's done checking you, I must give you some few drugs. So I I definitely will take you back home. Daddy wants so much. I'm in pain. I can't bear this face. Listen, baby, it's it. I understand that I understand you're hurt right now, but I assure you it's a it's a minor injury, okay? Listen, you're a strong girl. You are strong, you can do this. This is not gonna stop you. Don't worry. You get back to school tomorrow. Alright, once she comes to chase and everything is fine, I'll take you back home with you. Okay? Listen, let me go get some you have something for you to eat. Okay? Alright, right back. Okay. Charles, Charles, just wind down, please. What are we going to do? What are we really going to do right now? Please tell me. Honey, look, I don't know why you're doing this. Luna is fine. Are you being serious? Are you being serious right now? How is Luna fine? It's just a minor injury. She slipped, that's all. I mean, any, any moment from now, she will be fine. It's, she, she will get back. I, I don't understand it. Is this you being insensitive? How can you be saying that any moment she will be fine? If she just slipped, she will not be lying down on that hospital bed. I know my daughter so well. If not for one thing, I would even ask if you're the father. My daughter, if she just slipped, she will, she will get up and then bubble away. Listen, um, she will be getting some injections any moment from now. And let, let me just go and get her something to eat. No, don't get anything. I will get her what she wants to eat. All you need to do now, Charles, for this family is to get money. Because at this minute, this moment, we need lots and lots of it. We need lots and lots of money. And that is what you need, you need to bring. That is what you need to be doing right now, right this minute. Let me take you.
Yes, uh, what do you want? Come see, I've been trying to reach out on the phone for a while now. Is he okay? What do you want from him? I'm not here to pick a fight with you. Is he at home? What do you want from him? Like you forgot he's my colleague. Charles is my colleague. Your former colleague and you have to bring your voice down in my house. Okay. He is your ex married with a child, a grown child. So I'm asking you, why do you keep calling his phone and what do you want from him? Is your husband at home? He has moved on and I suggest you do the same. Lady, have some dignity and I advise if you don't have any, you should because it's really, really important. Move on. My husband has moved on, married with a grown child. Should I? What, what, what's going on? What, what's happening now? Ah, were you supposed to answer call while you're driving, mister? What, what happened? What's going on now? What, what, what's going on? Tell, talk, talk, talk to me, ma. Oh my God. Okay, 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 ma'am. Please, please, just, just hold on. I'm, I'm coming right now, eh? I'm coming right away. I'm, I'm coming now. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. What is going on? Um, Sir, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I can't continue with this trip anymore. Hey! You, you, you have to please get another ride. What is going on? I'm late for my appointment. Sir, please, you, you, you have to calm down. There is an emergency. I can't continue with this with this ride. Please. Hi. You are a very unserious human being. Huh? I will make sure I report you to, to, to your company. What sort of nonsense is this? Thank you. Thank you very much. But please, just, just step down from the car, please. I don't like this kind of nonsense. Look at... Doctor, what, what, what do you mean by an X-ray? What, what do you need it for? Mr. Charles, we need to determine the severity of the sprain. Okay. Have you done it? That is exactly why I called you. And then we need your consent for it. We need you to pay for it. You don't have to wait. Eh? You should have gone ahead and by now you should have been done with it now. Eh? Doctor, what, what, what is wrong with you? Why are you wasting time? Mr. Charles, we are sorry. But we have to follow due process. Doctor, get it done. You hear me? Please, get it done. Please eat. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Sigwe. We are worried that Luna did not come to school today. Is everything all right? Yes, everything is fine. She's okay. Just um, a little sprain on her ankle. So sorry to hear that. This is coming at a very bad time. We got an invitation from the National Sports Council. She has been selected to represent the school and the state in the National Under-20 Championship. What? I sent you mail, ma. Okay, okay. You're going to... Hey, honey. Yes. Look at this. She's been invited. It's a big competition, a national competition. When, 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 when is this? March, March, in two months' time. It's actually during the holidays. Two months. Oh, my baby. Angel, listen. You, you were wrong, okay? 
you run the time has finally come the opportunity we've been waiting for we've been training for listen it, it is time for you to run it is time for you to show the world what you have been you will move your legs you will move it very soon you will yes I want you to listen to your mother. You, you will run, okay? Listen, I, 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 I know the leg is hurting right now. I understand, but the truth is, it's not a major one. It's not, it's not a big, it's, it's not a big injury. It's just, just a minor one. And you, the, the doctors are still coming to check. All right, they will check and, and, and give a final solution. I, I, I show you, you, I will take you home. Yeah, I'll take you. Run. Yes, I will. yes, you, you will. <laughs> You will. I have promised you. You will. You have to run. This is all we have been waiting for. This is what we have been waiting for. Mr. Charles, from the X-ray results, we found out that there's a serious sprain. We are lucky the tear is not too much. That is why it's swelling now. Swelling? What do you mean swelling? It's normal for a case like this, Mr. Charles. You mean my baby's leg is swelling? Why? Why can't you stop it? Mr. Charles, it doesn't work like that. Please tell me, how does it work? It requires surgery. You need to be aware and then we discuss the modalities and start immediately. Doctor. What are these modalities? Eh? Money, to be fair and straightforward. And how much are we looking at? 2.3 million naira, sir. We have to start early to facilitate a quicker result, sir. $2.3 million is a lot of money. Yeah. Is there no other way? Is there no other uh, way we can uh, take care of this? Mr. Charles, if it was a low migraine spring, it would probably heal on its own without the medical surgical care. Probably uh, a proper rest, applying ice, not moving around, Let's say two to three weeks, you're good to go. But this particular case requires a ligament repair surgery. It requires surgery. You need to be aware and then we discuss the modalities and start immediately. 2.3 million naira, sir. We have to start early to facilitate a quicker result, sir. 2.3 million naira is what the doctor is asking for. We don't owe you the Just pay me what you owe me. Let me make a deposit so they can commence with the treatment. That's all I'm asking. Please. Mr. Charles. We do not have the treatment. Tell me that, listen, my daughter is a sprinter. She's a star. She's a work in progress. We have done this. We have prepared for this. We have worked all her life ready for this opportunity. This is a chance she shouldn't miss. It is a chance that I cannot afford to miss. Listen, she has just been selected to represent the entire state in a national competition. She has to run. Please, let's make her own. Please. Listen, I really understand. You do not understand me. Because if you do, you would have been transferring 1.6 million naira into my account by now. And you sit here doing nothing. You do not understand shit. <laughs> you are mates. Mm 
Doctor, Mommy? Doctor, please, what's happening? Her leg is swelling increasingly and it's reddish. Madam, I have told your husband about this. And besides, this is not a new case here. So you can take her home now. <laughs> I don't understand. Take her home. How? Why? Why am I taking her home? Madam, the swelling will go down. It's just a matter of time. <coughs> Doctor, please. Is this the right thing to do? Taking her home? Madam, I have told your husband the right thing to do. But he just walked away. Charles walked away. Where did he go to? Where did my husband go to? I don't know, madam. You don't know where Charles went to? Madam? Charles? Madam? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Charles, if it was a low, mild green spring, it would probably heal on its own without a medical, surgical care. Probably uh, a proper rest, applying ice, not moving around. Let's say two to three weeks, you're good to go. But this particular case requires a ligament repair surgery. Oh Lord, that you provide for us, you protect Amen. us Amen. in everything that we're doing, you guide us, Amen. give us the wisdom and understanding and the knowledge in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We give our, we ask that you give daddy the wisdom and understanding to keep providing for this family. Give him the strength to follow you, give him faith to follow you in Jesus' name. Amen. We pray that anything that my daddy does will turn to great, great, Amen. great things in Jesus' name. Amen. Anywhere he goes in, he will find favor in the, in the eyes of men in Jesus' name.
for bringing your husband back home. Safe. Get out! Get out! You brought him back home safely. Get out! Am I supposed to thank you? Get out! Rubbish! Nonsense. What is going on, Doctor? Mr. Charles, I was just about to call you. You are putting your daughter's chances of working properly again at risk. No. It is you who is doing that. Now tell me, why have you not commenced the surgery? Well, you have no need to pay me, sir. Doctor, let me ask you. So you mean if, if, if I don't make that payment, you would not start the surgery? Yes, sir. Listen to me, doctor. You will start that surgery. And you will start it now. Mr. Charles, it doesn't work that way. Doctor, listen to me. I I have been out of work for a while now. And in my company, they owe me. They, they owe me 1.6 million naira. See, I will take your account details and send it to my GM and have him wire the money directly to your account just so you can start something. So so you can start working. But sir, the surgery money is too pretty. You mean you won't take part payment? Is that what you're saying? Mr. Charles. We have policies here. Policy, my ass. For goodness sake, let me ask you a question, doctor. If that was your daughter, if that was your daughter laying down in pains, would you consider hospital policy before attending to her? Would you? But I gave you other options. Totally unacceptable. Totally unacceptable. Listen to me. My daughter has to heal. She has to run. Are you deaf for something? Can't you hear me? Huh? Oh, 
Okay. Tomorrow. We are spending it tomorrow. Okay, no problem. I'll we'll be expecting it. Now I want you to move on my command. Charles? Yes. Move. Okay, okay. Please, don't hurt me. I will do as you said. Yeah, this is my former boss. This lady here has to help my daughter. And she needs 2.3 million naira before she can commence the surgery. Unfortunately, I don't have it. But you, on the other hand, you owe me. You owe me 1.6 million. So it's logical that you transfer the money to her so she can commence the treatment and everybody will be fine. Huh? Charles, this is the wrong way to go about this. Wrong way? Yeah? Now you tell me, <sighs> what is the right way? Huh? That I allow my daughter suffer the risk of not working properly again. Or let her suffer the risk of not participating in a national competition that she has trained all her life for. Which one, Mrs. Sam? Tell me what is the right way. I can take the deposits, but you have to tell me the exact time and date when the balance will be paid. Perfecto. <laughs> Lovely. Now you see, you are the only one holding this process. Why don't you send the money to her so she can commence the surgery? I will be fine. You will be fine. Everybody will be fine. Huh? Look, I don't have 1.6 million naira in my account. No. No, no, no. You don't need to have it in your account. Use the company's account. Yes, use the company account. They are the ones who owe me, not you. So go ahead, use the company account. My friend, I cannot access the company account. What the fuck are you talking about? Does it look like I'm joking? Mr. Charles. Hey! What are you doing? Hey! Now listen to me. Listen good. I will not lose my daughter because you and you are here telling me about some stupid hospital and company policies. You will do what you have to do to commence the surgery. And I mean now. Please, ma'am, help him at least start the surgery. Sir, it doesn't work that way. Look at, he's already angry. He might hurt somebody. Then make the payments. I am not the company. I don't have access to the company's account. Hey. 
What are you doing here? Doctor said I Listen, the doctor is not seeing anyone right now. The doctor is busy. So I suggest you leave. Go. How are you Mr. Again, you shut up. Let me have the keys to the door. What? Give me the keys, my friend. <laughs> I come from Madam if they're coming around. Okay, I have the DPO's number. Hey, 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 hey. What are you doing? Let me have it. Let me have it! Now listen to me. If you like, you can call the entire armed forces. They can't help you. They can only come in here unless they bring down this building. Keep that at the back of your mind. Hey, let me have your phone. I don't have my phone. My phone is in the car. You can search me. Now put off your effects against the wall! Now! What's going on here? What's happening? Get down! All of you get down! What are you doing? Listen to me, baby. They have to perform a surgery on you. Okay? Your leg is bad. Your leg is bad and then we don't have time. Your leg is bad. They have to get you treated. You have to be treated. There are other patients here, just stop this. Let me look around you. Look at them. You're already receiving treatment. They have to perform your surgery, but you, you, you haven't received any. You, you, they've refused to treat you. You have to receive treatment. You, you have to be attended to. I don't care how they do it. I just want it. I want it done. I want it done. Now listen up, calm down, calm down and listen to me. This, this is my daughter, my only child. She has just been selected for a sprinting competition to represent the entire state. 
Yes, she is a star. But these two individuals have vowed not to let her shine. The two of you. So nobody, I repeat, nobody is leaving here until she gets to the theater and gets treated. Doctor, doctor, please. No, no, please. Please do something. Please, doctor, please. Don't help me. Don't help me. Please. Don't help me. Please. Please. Doctor, please. Doctor, please. please help them. Please, doctor. Mrs. Pamela. Please, doctor. Did you not pay before your son started receiving treatment? Yes, I paid, but there are no buts. This is not an emotional debate. We are talking reality here. This is a hospital not a charity organization to be treated in a hospital to be operated on to have a surgery you have to pay for it it's as simple as that you're talking bullshit doctor you're talking nonsense Miss... you are very insensitive mr charles imagine if everybody who walks in here wheels a gun threatening to kill me if I don't treat their patients, how do I pay my nurses? How do I buy the medication, the medicine that I give all of these people? How do I operate the machines I run with? It is with money that I run this hospital properly. You pay, you get treated. It's as simple as that. You're talking bullshit, doctor. You are insensitive. You are insensitive. Mr. Charles, life doesn't work that way. Doctor, please, please help them. Help this please. point, you need to help, help them. them, please. Help them. Yeah, listen, Don't my wife is more precious than any other thing. Oh my god. What? Charles. Hello, Betty. Yeah, I, I saw the, um, your viral video. Yes, the one you posted now. Please, please, where is the hospital? Where? Where? Which side? Number eight? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. All right. Somebody give me out Somebody help me out I'm trapped in the cage with my own fears I'm drowning and I can't breathe I'm running out I'm running out, I'm running out of energy I'm running out I'm running out of energy I'm running out I'm running out of energy I'm running out of energy What do I do? Mom, what's going on? What's your husband doing? What? Where are you? What's this madness? Mommy, I'm confused. What are you talking about? Your husband is trending in the news, in the blogs, on social media. What is the problem? Sorry, Mommy, you said? What happened to Luna? Hold on, please. I'll call you back. Nobody is leaving here until she gets to the theater and gets treated. What? Hey! Can you let 
did this happen? Why are you? Oh, Jesus. Please just stop. Who did you call? I don't know that number. Everybody listen up. I want you all to bring out your phone and drop it here. Now. Now everybody, everybody bring out your phone. Hey. One after the other. Put it here. Now everybody. Come on. You're taking this too far, brother. And he is so not getting away with it. You should be pacifying him. That would be funny, his ego. You think I'm joking? Dad, 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 please. Are you being serious right now? You again? Really you? You have no shame at all, see you know. Maybe after this whole chaos, after everything that is happening to my family, I will leave him for you. I will leave my own husband for you. Just calm down. I am not your enemy here, Kamsi. Lack of money is. Oh, yeah. And that is what I'm trying to help with. I saw a job offer. But it's just for a female applicant. I was going to tell Chas about you before you chased me out like a common criminal. Look, I had something with your husband in the past. Yes. Have I tried going down with him over and over again? Hell yes. But you know what? He has remained steadfast, pushing me away every given chance. He loves you. He vowed never to disrespect you and he's keeping his words. He's in trouble. And he needs help right now. We should be focusing on that. Charles! Charles, please! Gosh! Charles! Charles! Charles, please don't... Charles, please! Dad. Dad. Dad's mom. Please, please stop. Please. Charles, drop it. We can sort this thing out. Oh. When? Look at her. She has refused to treat her simply because you have refused to send her the money. It ain't you say we can walk this out. How? Honey, please. Please stop. Please. You have to be attended to. I don't know how they're going to do it, but you, you just you just have to get treated. That's all I want. That's all I want. I, we don't have time. Please. Then answer mom. She might have gotten help or something like that. Please. No, baby, no. You know your mother. She's only gonna rain curses and abuses on me as usual. That's all. That's all she's going to do. She will never come here with any solution. Nothing. I'm just trying. See, I just want you to get treated. That's all I want. That's, that's just all I want. They don't even refuse to get you treated. I just want you to be treated. That's all I want. Please, I beg you, 
Officers, please. Please, I'm begging you. Just take it easy with him. He's doing all these things because of my daughter. Please. Um, officers, please take it easy. Take it easy with the person you are calling. Please. Officer, please. Please, please, just calm down. Calm down. Please help my daughter. Please help my child. That's all I want. That's all I'm asking. Please help my daughter. No, it's the police. Get the door. Okay, ma'am. She's a toy gun. Just why didn't you tell me? You could have told me about this whole thing. I mean, I've been calling you to get your wife's credentials. You know, I would have helped you, right? Please take care of my baby. Take care of my daughter. I will. I will, I will do something about this, okay? Just, I am sorry. Move it. Just take it easy on you. Just yes, I'm calling, yes. okay? I'm calling. He took my phone. Even the head medical director has been calling. It's okay. I'm really sorry about that, okay? I will transfer one million dollars to the red man and run around for the rest. Just start the surgery. Please. Okay, no worries. Okay, thank you. Um, do you have a cup, Mom? Luna, Luna, she sprayed her ankle. And you were keeping it from me? Mom, it's just that we didn't want to bother anybody. That's why. How much is the hospital asking for? Um, 2.3 million naira. I am sending you the money now. You and Charles have a lot of explanation to do for this madness. I'm sorry, Mom. Um, I just made a deposit of 1 million naira. So we just have to run around for the rest. Um, my mom is sending us some money. Oh, that's fine. Yes. I first I want to say thank you. Thank you so much. And I am really sorry for everything for it's it's fine. Really, it is. Um, the attacks, your anger. Is justifiable. Even I will fight anyone for child's sake. I mean, if I had him. I'm really sorry for everything. My phones were in the car. Our CEO had called. He got a lift, and now we can pay him. I'm sweet. It's okay. It's fine. Madam. Like I said, I've been issue. Everything will be fine. Thank you. 
think it's the need to see her. If you have any needs, can we go back to the company? No. You guys should do well to give me the remaining change you owe me so I can move on from this. It's okay if you say so. Two minutes. You have two minutes. Okay. We got it, babe. We did. You really did it. Mumsy came through for us and Isabel. She gave us one million naira. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you're in here. But there is a good news. The company paid the debt and they're willing to pay you, you know, for everything. Luna is, she's going to be fine. And I am sorry. I'm really sorry that I, I pushed you so hard. I was only trying to, you know, I just thought I was making you become better just for you to take up the responsibilities and, you know, we move forward. Thank you. Thank you so much. And Isabella, she's offering me a job and I'm going to take it. I will take the job, I will, I will work. How is Luna? Luna is fine. She's getting better. She's, she's good. You don't need to worry. I love you and I am, I am really sorry. Charles, we're expecting your response to the restatement letter we mailed to you. Can I get some few days off to take care of my daughter? Sure. We're expecting you to come back stronger. Take your time, okay? Excuse me. I must apologize for all the troubles the company cost you. We are deeply sorry. It's not. It's okay. This is no victory yet, okay? I need you to recover. I need you to get out of this way, Jen. I need you to get back on your feet in full fitness. I need you, I need you to get back. Hey, go and finish what we started. Do you hear me? Breathe. 
Remember, we have a story. <laughs> a story to share to the world. Yes. <laughs> of a star girl. That was destined to shine. Yes. Who was determined not to be stopped by anything. Huh? <laughs> Listen, Lona. Listen. This will not stop you. It will not stop you. And when you, when the time comes when you have your own family, remember to put them first, no matter what happens. Treat them with love and respect. And be ready to, to do anything, I mean everything, for them. This is what love means. <laughs> and make lots of money. Because money makes things go easier. Did you hear me? Do you hear me, Luna? <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of this wheelchair. And head straight to finish what we started. <laughs> you can do it. I'm not going to remain on this wheelchair forever. Yes, that's my girl. I'm going to stand up. Yes. I'm going to run. Yes. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Yes. Saying. Yes, Luna. Yes. I'm going to run. Yes, you will. You will. You will. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> yes, baby. Yes. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> I dedicate this victory to my dad, my superhero. He's my trainer, my teacher, my fighter, my everything. Honestly, if you have a dad like mine, you will never fail in what you do. That's why I'm here now. That's why I'm holding this medal today. That is why I won. I'm not the fastest kid in the, in the country, but one thing I'm sure of is I have the best dad in the world. Yes, I do. It has not been easy, but at least we're here now. And I want to say a very big thank you to my dad. Thank you, mom. I love you so, so much. Thank you so much for helping. Thank you so much for being there. Thank you so much for fighting. Thank you so much. I'll sacrifice. I'd give my life for you. Anything I'll do for my baby. Sacrifice, I give my life for you. Anything I'll do for my baby. From the moment you came to this world, I knew I loved you even more. From the day I held you in my arms, you changed everything. My life, I'm gonna take a bullet for you. I'm gonna take the heat for you. Dedicate my life to protect you, my baby. My